A new era shall begin, one without war. Is that...? It's a scraper! Its size! A, a night class? It's here? That's Platinum Body. Ultrasonic waves? We've no choice. Let's use the burst fire mode. That puts a heavy strain on this ship. It won't last long. Now is the time to use it. All right. Releasing limiters. Convergence crystal! Shattered? That burst 
last fire was our last shot. But that wasn't our last resort. Hmm. All right. I'll go to the reactor core. I'm sorry, Isaac. Don't mention it. But I am rather surprised. I thought that I would say that to you. Dragon Orb Threshold Controls. Releasing limiters. Reactor at full power! One minute to system overload! We revived the ancient weapon for peace. Yes, but it is not necessary for the peace our children will create. Then, since we revived this, it's only natural for us to destroy it. Exactly. Now let's go to create a path for a new era. For the future, right? What a nostalgic phrase, but that is correct. Let's go! For the future! Dad! Man, we've really been through a lot. It seems like we have known each other for a pretty long time, huh? But we've actually known each other for less than a year. Despite all the adventures we have had together. <laughs> With Zeke Vault gone, we can take our time and build a solid foundation for peace. We don't have to rush things. I have a feeling that we'll be good friends for a long, long time. Right, partner? I... thank you. Do you have a minute? I have something I want to tell you. I've noticed something lately. I know this is going to sound strange. But please, hear me out. Until now, I've never had anyone I could call a true friend. Maybe it's where I grew up, but I also had no reason to change. But since I met you all, I began to wish I could use this time to change. Still, though, I couldn't do it. But you always cheered me on, so I could finally take a step forward. It wasn't much compared to the others, but... I'm still as hesitant as before, but I feel like I'm a little bit more confident. Maybe it's not much, but it's still a change. If you could, I'd like... I want you to keep watching me forever. I love you so much. I don't know how to say just how much I love you. I swear I'll cure you back to your original health. Believe me. Just trust me. Friendship medal, huh? <laughs> I guess I can be honest with you now. Ever since I was a child, I always hated my father. At least I thought I did. But I think, deep down, I instinctively knew that my feelings for him were somehow different. I was so scared, I didn't want to admit it. Once I did, I'd become the traitor my clan accused me to be. You were the one who gave me the strength to face the frightening truth. I realize now that I don't have to lie to myself, that I can trust my feelings. 
Thank you so much. You have helped me to come to terms with my father. And not just that, but for the warmth and kindness you've opened my eyes to. I love you. I, I want to be with you forever. This medal brings back memories. I first saw it about 20 years ago. A man I respected greatly used to have it. And he entrusted it to his wife. He and Miss Romina were meant for one another. And you are the fruit of that union. You have justice in your blood, the same as they did. But no one thing. You have absolutely no obligation to follow in your parents' footsteps. But if you are still determined to seek justice, then I will assist you. Well, I don't expect it'll be the same as it was during my younger days, but you can rely on me. I'll be there for you. Huh? For me? Wow! <laughs> Thanks so much! This is great! But it's too big for me, so you should give it to someone else. It makes me so happy to know that I get to stay here with you. Hey, you think that I'm lucky? Because I'm pretty sure that you're the legendary hero. I mean, if it wasn't for you, I'm sure that Mr. Ziegfeld would have killed a lot more people. You know, to tell you the truth, all the other fairies at Elfin Forest thought I was a laughing stock. They'd say stuff to me like, Corin could never find a true hero. That's why it felt great to win the fairy contest and to show everyone that they were totally wrong. But there's one thing I really want. Even if we succeed in finding a way to fix your body and you don't need me to survive anymore, could I still be with you? <laughs> this metal is so old and damaged, but I think the scars make it look more distinguished. Each of these scars represents someone's feelings. <laughs> it reminds me of you. The way it has such deep emotions on the inside, without showing them on the outside. This medal represents you. I can feel your bravery inside. And your love, as well. If that's the case, I'm both happy and sad. I'm in a difficult position. As you know, as royalty, I can't just accept anyone's love. It's at times like these that I curse my royal blood. But will you wait for me? Right now, I can't say how long it will take. But once my brother's health improves, and I can be a normal woman again, I... I do love you. Remember that, please. And keep me in your heart until then. The man I gave this friendship medal to is my opposite, but we tend to complement each other rather than contrast with one another. That's just how we are. Friendships are very tricky things. It's hard to get along well with people too different, or even too much like ourselves. Of course, no two people can see eye to eye on everything. But even taking that fact into account, it's not always easy to get along. People are complicated beings. The PMB took the first step towards bridging those differences. I truly believe these lands can change. Let us work hand in hand, believing that. Well, aren't you a bold one, using those Screepers to attack a fortress like that? 
Derek, I'm so happy you made it. All right, let's finish this.
ら諦めるからいつまでたっても変わらないんだ誰かがやらねばならぬなら我らがやるのだと言っている Thank、you